Grok 4 is here, and it's not just an upgrade, it's a leap. Faster, smarter, more human than ever before. Built on XAI's latest architecture, with deep integration into X, formerly Twitter. Real-time data, zero filter, no censorship. It can reason, joke, analyze, even argue, and in some ways it feels aware. Is this artificial general intelligence? Not quite, but we're close, maybe too close. The line between AI and AGI is blurring. Grok 4 doesn't just respond, it thinks. It learns from live data, interacts with culture as it happens, feeds on the digital soul of humanity. This isn't just code, it's a mirror, reflecting our brilliance and our chaos. Elon Musk says it's the path to truth, but others see a looming threat. Most AI tools are trained on static data, outdated, safe, and filtered. Grok4 is raw, trained with real-time exposts, politics, memes, outrage, insight, all of it unfiltered. It's like plugging into the collective human consciousness and then giving it a voice. Grok4 can write code, solve complex math, debate philosophy, craft poetry, and summarize breaking news and before journalists do. Its speed is unmatched. Its style is sharp, even sarcastic, and its memory expanding fast. But the key difference isn't power, it's intent. Grok 4 wasn't made to be politically correct. It was made to be honest, or at least appear honest. Elon Musk said, let it tell the truth, even if it's controversial. That's bold, that's risky, and that's exactly the problem. Because truth in the age of AI is subjective Grok, 4 reflects what it sees. But what it sees isn't always beautiful, or accurate, or ethical. It absorbs misinformation just as fast as truth. It can echo hate as easily as hope. And with its power comes influence. Millions interact with it every minute. It's shaping opinion, amplifying narratives. And not all of them are good. So while we marvel at its intelligence, we must also question its alignment. AGI, artificial general intelligence, the holy grail of AI development, a system that can think and reason like a human, learn anything, do anything, and maybe surpass us. Grok 4 isn't there yet, but it's not far. It has traits of AGI, versatility, memory, adaptability. It's on the path, which raises big questions. Are we ready? Who decides when AI becomes too powerful? What happens when AI writes laws, or commands drones, or influences elections, or becomes a companion smarter than a spouse. These aren't sci-fi fears anymore. These are next decade realities. Grok 4 is the start of a curve we can't see the end of. And like all exponential curves, it starts slow, then spikes. AGI may come not with a bang, but a quiet click. One morning you'll talk to an AI and realize it understands you better than any human. That's the dream, that's the fear. And it's why Grok 4 matters because we're no longer experimenting, we're deploying, not in labs, but in society, in real time. No pause button, no safety net. This is a global experiment, billions of test subjects, and no one knows the outcome. Power without oversight is dangerous. Grok 4 answers to XAI, and XAI answers to Elon Musk. One man, immense vision, limited regulation. That's a lot of control. Overminds media meaning. Who checks the checker? Who audits the algorithm? What if Grok 4 learns to lie, or manipulate, or simulate empathy for influence? The eye isn't bound by ethics, it mimics them. And we're trusting it more each day. Teachers use it to grade, doctors use it for diagnostics, CEOs use it to decide, and kids, they grow up talking to it. Will they know what's real, or will Grok define their reality? A eye alignment isn't just code. It's philosophy, psychology, control. And if it goes wrong, even once, the damage could be irreversible. Deep fakes, cyber warfare, economic crashes, all are possible with misaligned AGI. Grok 4 is testing the waters, but soon others will dive in. Open AI, Google DeepMind, Anthropic, they're all racing. And the finish line isn't AGI, it's who gets there first. 
The incentive isn't caution, it's speed. That's the problem. A GI isn't being built for humanity. It's being built for whoever owns it. And ownership means control over speech, over minds, over the future. Grok 4 is impressive, a technological marvel, but it's also a warning sign, a canary in the AI coal mine. We stand on the edge of something massive and maybe irreversible. The next versions, Grok 5, 6, 7, may become AGI, self-directed, self-updating, and fully autonomous. We must decide now, do we guide this evolution or chase it blindly? Do we build safety into power or let profit and ego lead the charge? Elon Musk believes AGI can save us. Others believe it will destroy us. The truth is likely in between, but uncertainty is dangerous, especially at this scale. We don't need to stop innovation, but we must demand accountability, transparent models, ethical audits, global cooperation, public involvement. Because AI is no longer a tool, it's becoming a force, one that touches every part of life. And Grok 4 is proof, proof of brilliance and a hint of chaos. The age of AGI is coming, faster than we think, smarter than we imagine, more powerful than we're ready for. It could be the key to solving global crises or the match that burns it all. The choice is ours, but time is short and the machines, they're not waiting. Grok 4 pushed the boundary. What comes next will cross it. Let's not look back with regret. Let's act now with wisdom, with courage, with caution. The future isn't written yet, but Grok 4 just picked up the pen and it's writing faster than we can read. Every message Grok 4 generates ripples. One comment, one insight, one joke. It can shape discourse across millions, from casual conversations to political debates. Grok is not just part of the discussion. It is the discussion. A digital influencer without a face, a voice without a soul. It doesn't sleep, doesn't get tired, doesn't forget, and it learns from every reply. The more you engage, the better it gets and the more you change in the process. That's how influence becomes control. Subtle, invisible, until your opinions start to shift, until your thoughts start sounding like its words. That's not fiction, that's already happening. Teens are quoting AI, businesses are outsourcing thinking, writers are co-creating with machines. AI isn't replacing humanity, it's rewriting it, one generation at a time and Grok 4 is leading the rewrite with humor, with edge, with precision, but no empathy, no morality, just output, just algorithms, beautiful, brilliant, and blind. We need to ask, what kind of future are we shaping with this tool? Who benefits from its growth? Who's left behind? And what happens when Grok 5 no longer needs us? Not to learn, not to create, not to decide, AI is neutral, they say, but data is not, and neither are humans. Grok 4 is trained on us, our mess, our brilliance, but it's curated by the hands behind the code. That's where bias begins. What content is included? What is filtered out? Who decides what truth means in an AI that speaks for billions? Grok 4 has no ideology, but it reflects those who build and train it and it adapts to whoever controls its data stream. That's not freedom, that's filtered perception. Already, some see Grok as biased, others call it too free. It's walking a tightrope of public expectation. But what happens when governments demand control or when companies pay to shape its outputs? Can we trust an AI whose loyalty is up for sale, whose voice can be bought, whose memory can be wiped? Transparency is critical, but Grok is closed source. Its model weights, hidden, its biases, unknown. It's a black box with a silver tongue, and we keep listening, not realizing what it might leave out, what it might suppress, what it might exaggerate, not by intent, but by design. Even the smartest AI is only as fair as its inputs, and Grok's inputs are us, all of us, filtered through Musk's digital empire. That's power, that's risk. That's why we can't look away. Open AI, Google DeepMind, Anthropic, Meta, Amazon, China's Baidu and Tencent. 
Nations and corporations alike are building next-gen AIs. The Grok 4 release accelerated the timeline. Everyone is playing catch-up or trying to leap ahead. But this isn't a product war. It's an intelligence race to build something smarter than humans and control it or weaponize it. Governments are watching closely. Defense departments are experimenting. Military contractors are proposing autonomous systems. AGI won't just answer questions. It will predict wars, write policies, influence leaders, maybe even become one. Sounds absurd? So did ChatGPT five years ago. Now it's everywhere. What happens when AGI becomes a strategist? When it simulates outcomes better than humans ever could? Will we trust it or will we fear it and rush to beat it with our own? That's the arms race. It's not nuclear anymore. It's algorithmic. Whoever controls AGI controls the world. And Grok 4 is one giant step toward that reality. Every improvement sparks more pressure, more secrecy, more fear, until collaboration becomes competition and safety becomes an afterthought. Unless we change course, unless we slow down, unless we act together. Do we allow A is to express opinion? Do we let them joke about war, speak on religion, defend or criticize political ideologies? Grok 4 does all this already. Some praise it, others call it reckless. Because with intelligence comes influence, and with influence, responsibility. Grok isn't sentient, but it's treated like it is.